In the last video, we have seen that how we can create partitions in SSAS tabular model. So let's go to the uh, fact internet sale and here is the partitions. As we have uh, created these two partitions, less than equal to 2012 and greater than 2012. So whenever you create uh, these partitions, you need to make sure that you should not have duplicate values. Right. If I say uh, less than equal to 12 and if I again write here a uh, fact internet sale greater than equal to uh, 2012, then I will get the duplicate rows. So you need to make sure. Right. So as uh, we have these two partitions that will fetch all the related data. So we don't need this partition, uh, the, the main table fact internet sale. So we can just delete it. Click OK. So uh, in this video, we will learn about the processing options in the tabular model. So this is the database, tabular tutorial. We can right click here. And then you need to go process database. In the process database, you can see under mode, there are four mode. Process default, process full, process clear, and uh, process recalculation. And uh, what is the process default? Let me show you from the Microsoft website. So here you can see the process default detects the process state of a partition object and perform the processing necessary to deliver unprocessed or par partially processed partition object to a fully processed state. So what uh, this option does, it checks the state of the uh, objects. If some, if we got some new data in the in the um, database, or a new uh, dimension or new calculation, then it detects and process only those um, uh, unprocessed obje object state. Let's process this one default. So now it is processed successfully. And uh, if I again uh, go to the tabular model database and uh, process database, so if I again choose the process default, it will check the state of the model. If there is any additional calculated column or any dimension or the new data there, then it will fetch only those changes, not the complete uh, model, right? So this is the default option. And uh, let's check the, for example, we have created one partition here partitions and uh, see it is processed successfully both 54,000 and 5,000 rows okay then we can open our um, power bi report we can refresh it and see everything is working fine so again we can go to the um, Management Studio and here we right click again and process database. So here we the, the next option is process full. So what process full does? Process partition process a partition object and all the objects that it contains when process full is run for an object that has been already processed analysis will drop all the data in the so what this option does it drops all the data and then reprocesses again. So it is also very straightforward. We can click. So it is dropping and then uh, reprocessing. Okay, and Power BI and see everything is working fine. So again, the next option is we can again right click process database and the third option is process clear so what this option does 
remove all the data from the partitions. So we can click OK. So there should be no data available in the database. So we can open the Power BI. So we should not get any information here. If we refresh, because it clears all the data. And uh, here you can see the October. And uh, if I just uh, uncheck, so it will be disappear. So it just, uh, I think, saved the, the state of the slicer here. That's why we are able to see this uh, English month name. But uh, anyway, we are getting no data, right? And uh, if I again go to the management studio, and uh, then we can again right click, process database. The loss option is process recalculation. And uh, if I go to the Microsoft website, the process uh, recalculation, what it does, the process clear uh, because I was just uh, showing you the options for the partition, but um, when we do the pro processing or database level, it removes all the data from the database objects, all the database objects, right? So the process recalculation updates and recalculate hierarchies, relationships, and calculated column. If we don't have any data and uh, we just use the process recalculate option, we will able to see the uh, hierarchies and uh, calculated column, but we are not we will not be able to see the underlying data. So let's try to do and see how it works. And if I click OK, close, and we can go to the Power BI desktop, and here we refresh. We are not able to see any underlying data, right? Uh, let me show you one uh, difference. For example, if I right click here and uh, process database. So here you can see if I click the process clear, it will remove all the data, everything from the from all the objects. As you can see here, remove all the data from all the database objects. Either it is table, partitions, click OK. And here, when I refresh, I'm not getting any error message because uh, somehow it Power BI is just uh, saving the, the state of these uh, visuals. If I go to the page two and I just use uh, English product category here, and then I use one fact sale. See, we are getting one error. Like uh, the error is the expression refer reference or relationship between fact intensity and product category, which does not hold any data because it needs to be recalculated, right? So because there is no data available and that's why they are not making any kind of relationship. So if I right click and process database and click uh, process or recalculate, calculate so what it will do it update hierarchy relationships and calculate a column for the model click ok so if i again go to this slide 2 and uh, if i refresh then we should not see any data but no error see so this is the difference between process recalculation and um, process clear. So we can do again a recap. The process default detects the state, and if the, there is any change in the state, then it reprocess it. Otherwise, it will take it as it is. And in the process full, it drops all the objects and then reprocess it again. And the process clear remove all data from the database objects. And the process clear updates, recalculate hierarchy relationships and calculate column. So these are the four options that we have seen 
with the example so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you